Hi everyone, Orly the Baker here coming to you with another baking demonstration. Today we're going to be using Manhattan blend to make cinnamon buns. So for our cinnamon bun recipe, we're going to start with one packet of yeast and pour that directly into our mixing bowl. On top of the yeast, we're going to pour a third of a cup of warm buttermilk. We want the buttermilk to be not hot, but warm so that it activates the yeast. We are adding three whole eggs. On top of the egg, we're adding three tablespoons plus one teaspoon of white sugar. Now we're going to get this starting to mix up. And lastly, we're going to add three tablespoons of melted butter. and mix it up one more time. Next, we have one and three quarters cup of Blends by Orly Manhattan Blend. We are going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Just gonna mix that salt and baking powder right into the flour. Now we're gonna start this on a slow mix so that we don't have flour flying all over the place. We want to mix it until it all comes together and we don't see any lumps. The final consistency, as you can see, it's still kind of stretchy and sticky, but it should be definitely wetter than a regular cinnamon bun recipe with regular flour. The moister the dough is, the moister our final baked product is going to be. So we put a light layer of flour on our work surface. Now we're going to put a light layer of flour on top of our dough. We're gonna watch this dough come together very nicely. After we mold it into a ball, we're gonna be rolling it out. So you can see when you add a little bit of gluten-free flour to your dough, it makes it a lot more pliable and flexible. It's not sticking to my hands. Don't be afraid to add more flour to your work surface if you find it's getting a little sticky. You just want to sort of make the edges as even as possible. As you can see, we've rolled our dough into a nice rectangle. I'm just using my hands to even out the edges. And now we're going to cover this with our cinnamon bun filling. We're going to use a pastry brush to pretty much just paint this on top of the dough. We want to cover the entire dough with butter. And this butter is going to allow our cinnamon mixture, our cinnamon sugar mixture, to stick. So you want to cover the entire surface of the dough with the cinnamon sugar mixture. So start with the end that we did not cover with butter or sugar. And just flip it over like that. And then we're just going to keep rolling evenly. If your dough starts breaking, just add more blends by Orly Manhattan Blend to prevent it from breaking and to let it stick together. But we rolled it into a pretty tight cylinder with the crease on the bottom. We're using a square aluminum pan, you can use a round pan, and we're going to spray the pan. This prevents your cinnamon buns from sticking to the bottom of the pan and also gives them a nice sort of artisan cafe look. If you have some extra room, don't worry because when we're proving them in the oven, they'll get larger and they'll spread. We made some of them smaller, some of them larger, just to mix it up. We're gonna coat the outside with some oil or butter, just to give it um, that extra sort of crispiness when it bakes in the oven, and a nice buttery finish. We're gonna stick them in about 100 degree temperature oven for about 30 minutes, and after the 30 minutes, they should be doubled in size and ready to bake in the oven at 350 degrees. 
And here are our baked cinnamon buns. Look how beautifully they rose. They're nice and brown on the top. And the fact that they're lighter on the bottom shows us that they're not overdone. They're still nice and moist. Enjoy!